It's done. At age 30, Hubert Green, born in Birmingham, Alabama, resident of Bay Point, Florida, graduate of Florida State University, is the champion golfer of the United States for 1977. Hall of Fame golfer Birmingham native Hubert Green did, didn't just win that 77 U.S. Open. He did it after there were death threats against his life. Green was told by the police that the FBI received the tip that a group of men planned to shoot him on the 15th hole. He played on anyways and won it all. Now, Green passed away last Tuesday at the age of 71 following a lengthy battle with throat cancer. What he leaves behind is a legacy in Alabama that is second to none. My father said, you're the best thing in there. You have to dig a hole, dig a good hole. Play the best you can play, and that's it, that's it. From Birmingham, Alabama to the pinnacle of professional golf, Hubert Green wasn't the first golfer from the state of Alabama to reach the PGA Tour, but his achievements put him as one of the all-time best to ever play the game. He was truly a legend of the game, so we're going to miss him. Those type of guys don't fall off the trees or come around very often. A man who overcame death threats to win his first major championship at the 1977 U.S. Open and later the 1985 PGA Championship saw victory 19 times on the PGA Tour and four times on the Champions Tour, including winning the Bruno's Memorial Classic at Greystone Country Club on the very course he helped design. Of the golf achievements that eluded him, the toughest was a Masters Championship. Green finished in the top 10 at Augusta six times in seven years, including in 1978 when he came within inches of winning his own green jacket. There's always a rider that every year after the fourth round, he had to do an interview with a guy who had a good chance to win and blew it. And I think I know the guy very well. His life after the PGA Tour marred by struggle. In 2003, diagnosed with oral cancer, he fought it into remission. However, the lasting effects of the chemotherapy and radiation left him scarred. One year at the Bruno tournament, some kid said, Mr. Green, will you sign my hat? So I did. He said, the year you, year you won here on it also. And I went blank. I couldn't remember the year I won the Bruno. Hubert Green's achievements on the golf course are well documented. It earned him a spot in the World Golf Hall of Fame. His fight with cancer, an inspiration. But perhaps Hubert Green's biggest achievement on the course was inspiring generations of Alabamians to pursue their dreams in golf. Hubert was a little bit understood. He was as nice a person as you could ever find. He was great to our juniors out here at the club, always taking time to give them a chipping or putting lesson. He hit balls next to me every day, and I just I'll sorely miss having him around. Hubert told me after that the way that he got through the tough times was he had great dogs and a great wife. The wife wasn't always happy to see him on a hard day. Dogs were always happy to see him. And you want to see the impact that he had on the golf community. Check out on social media after his passing. Willie Wilcox, a Alabama native professional golfer. R.I.P. Hubert Green always was proud to be from the same state as the legend. And another legend, Tom Watson. Hubert, I will miss your humor and honesty, your tough as nails attitude on the course. You did it right, and you were one heck of a professional. Sending my heartfelt condolences to all of your loved ones.